cannot believe spring break is finally here. I know. I am so excited for a whole week off of school. Me too. Now let's get straight to this week's Braves report. Our very own Reed Goer will be traveling to Charlotte this week to participate in the State Geography B at Central Piedmont Community College on April 6th. Reed won our National Geographic GOB. Congratulations, Reed, on this accomplishment. We are so proud of you and cheering you on. Way to represent the Manio Way. Speaking of the manual way, we've talked each week about the standards of behavior we want both the students and the teachers to represent throughout our school. There are eight steps that make up the manual way, and we've already talked about five of them. They were to be aware and intentional, to be collaborative, to be vulnerable to take a risk, and last week we talked about embracing failure, build trust through honest, transparent communication. This week we're going to talk about the sixth step, to continuously learn. This is the ability to continually develop and improve our skills and knowledge in order to perform effectively and to adapt to the changes in our environment. Every day we have the opportunity to learn something new, whether it be new information in a class like math or English, or even gaining a better understanding of others around us. When we choose to accept this opportunity to learn, we enhance our lives by gaining knowledge, happiness, and confidence. And let's face it, with the world we live in today, with all the technology around us, to be successful, it is crucial we learn, we continuously learn. The Manual Way and the Be Brave Challenge go hand in hand. We started the Be Brave Challenge five weeks ago at our school. It was created not only to challenge you and to go above and beyond what is expected, but also to celebrate you when you go above and beyond. This week, we have 14 of you that were nominated for Being Brave. Here are the names of the nominees. Noah Block, Dylan Block, Haley Grubbs, Austin Thompson, Omarion Combs, Hayden Faircloth, and Anna Rogers, Jamie Holton, Coley Skew, Reed Gilreath, Maggie Trulove, Angelica Ladzuri, Maris Dufresne, and Vincent Malone. For helping teachers and other students being a big hitter in the game, to just being respectful to your teachers and others, Way to be brave. This week's winner is Haley Grubbs. Haley will receive a gift certificate. Thank you to all students who were nominated this week for going above and beyond. And thank you to the teachers who took the time to notice. Today is the last day to order your school yearbook. This year's theme is creating our story and that our publications group have been working really hard to do just that. You can make checks payable to MMS or you can order online at lifetouch.com. Reserve your copy today. See Ms. Care if you have any questions. It's almost that time of year for the Helmet Challenge. Bike to School Month begins April 9th when we return from spring break. The challenge will run for a month and end on May 9th. If you are a student who rides your bike or skateboard to and from school, wear your helmet. Make sure you check at the table when you in the lobby to get your sticker. If you earn 10 or more stickers during the month, you will earn a t-shirt. Plus, each day you wear your helmet, you will be entered into a drawing to earn weekly prizes. Parks and Rec will be offering tennis lessons for middle school students starting April 17th until May 10th. The lessons will be after school until 4.45 on the tennis courts here at MMS. The cost is $40. You can sign up at Wesco Parks or the Rec Center. Now let's go over and check out this week's Brave Sports Report. and I'm here to give you your Braves Center Report. We started this week off with baseball and softball games away at first light on Monday. Both teams battled freezing winds but couldn't get the win. Our softball For softball, the score was 4-7. to seven. Faith Galloway came through with a great hit in the sixth inning that scored three out of four runs. Baseball also tried their best. On Wednesday, baseball and softball had home games against Camden. Baseball did a great job and won their game 8-7 to seven with an exciting finish. 8th graders Ivy Midget and Reed Gilreath both hit a home run. Our Lady Braves fell short, but Anna Rogers had two awesome hits into the outfield, and Erica Bailey had a couple of excellent catches in center field towards the end of the game, but still the score ended in an 11-0 win for Camden. On Tuesday, track had a home meet at Manio High School. The team did great, with Eliza Robbins getting second in the mile and 800 meter. Camila Brooks got 5th in the 100 meter, Nathan Jarvis got 4th place, and Brian Estrada got 5th in the 100 meter. Nathan placed 4th in the high jump, and Hart Van Zura got 5th. Braden Hurd got 4th in the long jump. Track also had an away meet at Paso Tank on Thursday. Looking at this next week's action, there will be no games next week due to spring break. Keep watching the Braves Report for the latest sports updates and highlights. 
I'm Lauren, and that was your sports update. Good day, Braves. I'm Kiana, and I'm here to give you your weekend's weather report. Friday night is looking to be loud with scattered showers and thunderstorms with temperatures in the 40s. Saturday's temperatures are going to be in the 50s with winds of 14 miles per hour. Easter Sunday is going to be mostly sunny with temperatures in the 60s. May your Easter be excellent. I'm Kiana, and that is your weekend's weather report. Good morning. Welcome to Let's Get Real with me, Emily. This week, I'll be talking about suicide. Although it's a touchy subject, it's important to talk about, since spring has the highest suicide rates, and it's officially spring. The leading cause of suicide is depression, and often enough that's caused by an external force. Two tips, one, don't be that external force, and two, if you have thoughts of suicide, call this number, 1-800-273-8255. You're never alone in any situation, and there are people out there who really want to help you. Suicide rates are increasing due to a common trend of apathy amongst people these days. You never know who may be next to you contemplating taking their own life, so just be a friend and show them you care. It may be exactly what they need. Again, you're never alone, and that's the truth. And I'm Emily, and that was me getting real. This week you're playing a game called Flying Feathers. Each pair has a feather, and they have to blow it across to each other as much as they can, and they have one minute. falls to the ground or is touched by someone, then you get a point. You want to have a, the least amount of points at the end of the game. When you're playing and blowing back and forth, you cannot blow it more than twice to get it to your partner. I'm Jordan. I'm Jasmine. I'm Alana. I'm Grace. I'm Lexi. And I'm Elizabeth. These ladies are in pairs of two and each pair has a feather. They have to stand across from each other and blow the feather back and forth as long as they can. You have one minute and your time starts now. Jasmine and Alana dropped theirs seven times. Lexi and Grace dropped theirs six times. So we have a winner. I'm Maris. And I'm Emma. And we, we want, want you to represent, represent the Mania way. way.